Okay, the wind is just obnoxious today, so we'll see what we can do. Here we go. A few moments later. Stop. See? Told ya. Just obnoxious. Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. It's come to that time of year that I get super excited for. Uh, there is a competition that's coming up just next week. It's more than just a competition. It is a get together. It is kind of a convention. Uh, it's a party. There are so many different things that are happening at this one event and I get super, super excited for it each and every single year. We are talking about Call Ash Bash starting next week. Um, I'm heading out on the 11th. Uh, we'll get down there like on the 12th and um, cannot wait to get down there, meet friends, see some new people, help out in, uh, you know, just whatever they need down there, and then also competing as well. I wanted to do a video talking about uh, the rifle that I'll be using while I'm down there, kind of hash out what had happened in the last few competitions that I competed in as well, and uh, just kind of help promote Kalash Bash as well. If you have an opportunity to get down there this year, uh, there's still general admission tickets. You can still be involved. They do a huge giveaway on Sunday. It's just a lot of fun. Um, and I'd encourage you guys to check it out. There's a huge bon bonfire on Saturday night and uh, they've got some uh, bands, live bands that's gonna be there as well. So just a blast for the AK community. And I wanna ensure that if you guys can make it down there, you should get down there. If you can't make it, definitely put it on your calendar for next year. You will not complain one bit while you're down there. So as I prepare to head down to Kalash Bash, I thought I'd go back and kind of rehash the last couple of years that I've been able to compete um, down there at uh, Eagle Lake, Texas. Uh, it's a great range. It's where Nine Hole Reviews does their um, long range shooting. Uh, so really, really cool resort. Uh, and uh, yeah, so the first year that I attended was 2021. I used my Jim Fuller build that I collaborated with him and put together an AK-74 from an 88 Ishmash kit. Uh, the rifle ran great. Uh, it did everything I asked it to do. I'm just not a excellent competition shooter, so I had a lot of errors and um, didn't really understand my dope for running iron sights. So there's that. Um, placed uh, like 130th out of 275 shooters. So, you know, you know, in the top 50 percentile, which was... Uh, that's, that's okay. That's okay for the first time out, I suppose. Um, from there, in 2022, I ended up using the Arsenal SAM-5, uh, which is the rifle that Clay and I collaborated with on, you know, doing some, some updates to it, you know, uh, added a different uh, muzzle device and uh, put a uh, KNS piston in it, added a um, ALG trigger. At the time, we put an arrow, uh, a Taro Arms rear sight mount on it and ran a 509T. I used this during tactical games and placed in the top 50 with being the only person to run an AK uh, in that competition. I then ran it at Kalash Bash and came in 95, 92 out of like 300 shooters. So top 100, I was very, very happy with that. And then uh, just last spring, I ran it at Kalashnikon, added the Primary Arms 3X Micro Prism, and um, did well. I, I didn't do as well as I was expecting, but uh, I did okay. And uh, the biggest thing from that is I was able to get a first round hit at 600 yards because of this particular setup and uh, this optic. So um, yeah. This has been great, but this year I wanted to do something a little different. Uh, try a different rifle. I'm going to shoot the Light Optics 
division as I've done the last two years. Uh, well, last year and then the first year was light irons. Uh, and then I'm also going to run the armor division as well. So I'll be in Kevlar and body armor uh, as well. So the rifle that I'm going to be using is affectionately called the Trash Panda for a couple of different reasons. <laughs> Uh, here it is right here. This is a Zestava M90 and the reason why I call it Trash Panda is because it eats everything. Doesn't matter what kind of magazine I'm using. I've got uh, an AK-74 Plum right here and it runs this no problem. I have a 74 Bake that it runs no problem as well. I have a um, AC Unity mags. Obviously the Zestava metal mags run no problem so uh, i've been very very happy with that in addition to that it obviously eats whatever ammo i give it to so there is that i have done some updates to it i figured i'd just do a quick video to talk about that and uh, let you know how it's been running so far i've ran it in a couple of two gun matches here locally and have done very very well so here's the uh ammunition that I'm running it says it's 150 rounds I've ran four magazines that's 120 so it should have another 30 um, I, I think I got shorted like five rounds <laughs> good job Winchester <laughs> needless to say here's that magazine we'll run the last one we'll see how many rounds we got Man, that action is just so smooth really do like it. It's 26 rounds, so I'm down four rounds. <laughs> so let's dive into it. Um, first and foremost, up front, I have the JMAC Customs 360 chemo break on here. Uh, obviously I have a Sandman S, so I like to run the chemo adapters whenever possible. Haven't done anything to the barrel gas setting. I have it set on one. I found that that has been the best gas setting for this. Have it about uh, 500 rounds through this and uh, have zero issues. The handguard I have on here is the uh, RS Regulate GKR9MY. And this is just a M-lock handguard that extends out past the handguard retainer, which is something I really do like. And then I've added a Magpul hand stop to really pull this in to my shoulder for that quick follow-up shot. It has been very, very helpful in uh, the most recent two-gun match that I've um, used this in. Moving on back from there, we have the Atero Arms rear sight mount for an RMR footprint, and I'm running the Siley Bolex Pro on here, which is like a SRO on steroids. Uh, it has a huge field of view and a, just a simple circle dot, or you could run it with the circle or just the dot. It's kind of very hollow sun-ish when it comes to how they have the uh, red dot set up on this. The charging handle has the AK thumb grips, um, charging handle uh, adapter or whatever you want to call it. It's basically just a piece of rubber that you heat up and then you put over the uh, charging handle and gives a little bit more uh, real estate for you to grab that charging handle and charge. So I really did enjoy throwing that on there as well. Outside of that, that's all I've really done with this rifle up until this week. And I've ran it stock ever since uh, until I walked into my local shop um, Monday and uh, they had the brand new CMC AK-47 2.0 triggers uh, in stock. They had just got them and they're like, dude, you got to check this out. And at first look, it almost looks like it's a AR-15 style cassette drop-in trigger, uh, but actually it's not. You actually have to break it into two pieces, uh, not break it, but you, you separate it into two pieces and then you install from there. So I'll have a separate video on how to do all that type of stuff on a different platform. You probably guys know where, <laughs> but I'll let you know uh, as soon as that video comes out. 
The trigger that I ended up picking was their 2.5 pound flat face trigger. I really do like flat face triggers. And let me tell you, -hoo, uh, I think I made the right choice. A lot of people have um, had some complaints about them. Uh, you know, talk about pros and cons here. Talked to a number of my friends, they've ran them before, and they said that uh, you have to be very careful, especially during the installation process, because you can inadvertently have some burst fires, uh, which I can understand with it being so light. You, you really want to ensure that you're intentionally pulling that trigger each and every single time and not um, relaxing your trigger finger as you, um, as you compete. So totally get all of that, but just yesterday I took it out to the range as I'm filling, filling this and uh, put out, what, 210 rounds, so seven magazines, and had uh, only one issue and that was user induced. I was just messing around and going a little bit faster than I should and uh, had a hammer follow. So no big issue there. But uh, out of the, that was incidentally, that was on the first magazine. The second through seventh magazine, I had zero issues uh, and I ran it just as fast as I possibly could. Um, I'm not Clayco 47 or anything, but uh, yeah, so I added that in there and I think it's going to run great. I will take my stock trigger with me down to Kalash Bash just in case there is an issue. I can swap them out real quick in between stages. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is what I have my setup as for this year's Kalash Bash and I'm excited, man. I just, I'm just beside myself. Anytime the competition comes rolling up, I really get uh just overly excited uh and uh just really can't wait to get down there to see all of my good friends and to be able to uh compete and kind of see where i stand against people like clayco 47 ak mario uh neil the combat accountant um bolts and holes man freaking kyle that dude is just like a ridiculously good shooter and then you have some sponsored shooters that go down there from like IWI and stuff like that so needless to say I'm excited to see how it all turns out and uh, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say if you have an opportunity to get down there make sure you get down there and check it out have you been to Clash Bash before are you going do you want to go let me know down in the comment section down below I'd really really appreciate it with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so very much. If you haven't already considered subscribing to the channel, I'd encourage you guys to do so, especially if you think I'm doing a good job. Thumbs up and comments are a huge help, but sharing this with your friend is probably one of the best ways to help out the channel as well. With all that being said, like I said, we're out of here. As always, here comes a high five. Freedom through strength. Take it easy, y'all. See you later.